Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and it is time for another What's in the Box. Oh yeah, I'm excited because you guys know how much I love this series. I know you guys are liking it. That's why I really appreciate it when you hit the like, you leave the comments, you tell me what you think, but I think we're having a lot of fun doing this and I'm excited. So cheers to you, thank you so much. Let's figure out what's in this box. I know you guys can see it, I can't. So that's the whole gist of this if you're new here. So here we go. Wow, that is one dark. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, well, that, <laughs> that just happened. Well, anyway, let's just continue with this. <laughs> oh my God, I'm an idiot. You guys should see how wet I just got. <laughs> I mean, whoa. Okay, this is live TV, folks, and by live, I mean I'm recording it, but this is just honest, and this is just what happened. So, that's me. And now I'm just gonna smell like a bar. So, here we go. All right, thank you for being here, cheers. Now let's figure out what's in here. What I was saying before I so carefully and class, class, classily, classily, is that even a word? I just poured that everywhere. So anyhow, I'm distracted like a squirrel and I was just like, that just happened. Okay, I, what I was saying, this looks really dark in the glass. Right away, that was my initial impression. It's pretty viscous actually too, now that I can tell that I've spilt it everywhere. Let's smell it. Ugh. So on the nose, it smells actually pretty corn forward. Corn forward smells kind of young, but not barnyardy. It does smell corny but corny, not a, not like really any oak or anything. There might be like a slight hint of cherry and vanilla, but overall it smells pretty corn forward. Um, there's a light amount of like toffee in there as well. It doesn't smell bad, it just doesn't, ooh. Twizzler, cherry Twizzler. Yeah, there's a little bit of cherry Twizzler in there. Overall though, it's it's pretty corn forward. So let's taste it now that I have a little bit left to taste. Hmm. Just tastes very basic. Definitely under 100 proof. There might be the slightest hint of nut in there. Definitely taste corny, vanilla, um, kind of like a classic bourbon but just younger or just like more affordable but just kind of like sugary doesn't have a lot of complexity to it that's what I'm trying to get into yeah that's gonna be like 90 proof definitely like 90 proof or under might even be under am I losing it seems like it seems very low proof um yeah, overall, I don't really love this. I wouldn't drink this again. It doesn't have a lot going on with it. I think there are definitely better bourbons on the shelf. I think this is a bourbon. If I'm wrong, then I'm an idiot, but I think there are definitely better bourbons on the shelf, and this is just not one I'm gonna be reaching for. And if I'm wrong and I'm an idiot and this is something I like, then damn it, that sucks. Because this is what's in the box and this is just my honest blind opinion. So, that's what I think of it and I'm gonna smell like it for the rest of the day. So there you go. Wow, that happened. Okay, here we go. Let's figure out what's in the box. I am nervous. I'm actually really nervous. What? Oh God, really? It's a rye? It's Jim Beam Rye. I said I liked this bottle. I've told Bill several times, I'm like, we should put this in because I actually like it and I'm pissed off that I did. I can taste in it now and now I feel like an idiot that I was like this is very corn forward <laughs> I'm an idiot this is why you guys watch these what's in the box this might be the best what's in the box ever because I am a big idiot but I said 90 proof guess what it's 90 proof okay you guys I liked this I actually liked this when it wasn't in what's in the box because I got home and I was like I really want to see what this tastes like and this is like the pre prohibition style rye um, yeah, I said I liked it, but honestly, it's just really, really, really basic. So I guess I wouldn't buy it again, but honestly, it's not that expensive. So no loss there. And I probably will drink it again. So there you have it. Let me know if you've tried this one and what you think of it. I'm always curious. And uh, thanks for making me feel like a fool today. But my proof is getting better. My proof is getting better. So hope you have a fantastic day. I'm Dara. I'm your average drinker. And I'll see you next time.